Hi there, my name is Taylor Coplin, and in the last videos, we went over how to make uh, your groups, worlds, and also how to make your layout view, which is what we are going to start be taking advantage uh, with in the series. So if you haven't seen those videos, I highly recommend going to check those out. Um, so in this video, we're going to quickly go over how to make a symmetrical selection with your um, layout pool here which is going to be super useful for making uh, symmetrical positions and like uh, mainly your effects. So um, something to keep in mind is if you, um, or you, you know, actually let's just jump into it. So uh, for the, uh, if you only have like one row of lights, uh, the way you would make a symmetrical uh, selection is literally just go left to right or right to left, make your selection. Okay. If you have more than uh, one row, like we have two rows here, the way we're going to do this is we're going to make this top point um, our middle, okay? So um, this is the uh, center right here, right? So it's mirrored across this plane. And what we're going to do is we're going to select from the middle here, and we are going to go out towards the low numbers. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to come down here, and we're going to go left to right, Okay, we're going to go across and then we're going to come back up and we are going to select these. So um, the reason why this is a symmetrical selection is because now this right here is our first fixture and this is our last fixture. So when we run symmetrical effects where it mirrors the effect um, using something called wings, which we'll get into in the effects video, um, this is our first one, this is our last one. So it's going to go you know, if, if this is our first one and it's counting up, uh, it's gonna go, um, you know, one, two, three, four, five, but at the same time, this is gonna go one, two, three, four, five, right? And then now, uh, so this one's counting up and this one's counting down, right? So now it's gonna jump from here, it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and this one's gonna go from here to here, it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. So that makes a selectical or symmetrical selection and uh, we can go ahead and save this if we so we have this highlighted right now right and if we go to uh, if we go and store this we can call this our um, uh, symmetrical group or symmetrical all I guess we'll call it uh, and you can do this for your entire rig or you can do this for your um, just like specific groups and whatnot uh, really whatever you want uh, it will work fine. So let's go back to our layout view. One more thing, if you have more than um, like three rows of fixtures that you want to make a symmetrical selection of, here's something to keep in mind. If you have a even amount of rows, you wanna start from the inside of your selection. If you have an odd number of rows of fixtures, you wanna start from the outside. Uh, so what we are going to do, so like say you had four rows of lights that or fixtures that you want to make a symmetrical selection of well you're going to start here and then you're going to go outwards right and then you would come from here and you'd go halfway again and you would just zigzag your way all the way down until you have that entire side uh selected and then once you get to the bottom of course you would do your from far left to far right and then you do that one and then you zigzag your way back up until you get to this one and there you go. And you'll know if you did it right, if um, your first and last ones are right next to each other for the, um, if you have an even amount of rows of fixtures. If you have an odd number of row, uh, rows of fixtures, say like you had like five rows, you'd start from the outside, okay? And you'd go from here, and then you'd go in, and then go down here, and you'd go out, and you'd repeat that all the way down to get to your last one. And your last one is going to look something like this. So your last one you should be going out on. So you would start from the middle here. You go out and then you come back here to this one. Select in the middle, go out. And then um, you would make your way back up. Um, or sorry, yeah, no. Um, I guess if you did it, if you had an odd number, it would be like this. Then you'd come in and then, yeah, you do your one across at the bottom. Zigzag your way back up and then you'd be from here to here for your final selection. Uh, so uh, even number of uh, rows of fixtures, you're gonna start from the inside and work your way around, right? And then you're 
points, your final two selections should end up next to each other. And then for um, an odd number of rows, you just do the opposite. And uh, it should work out. Yeah, because, yeah, cool. Um, I don't know if that was confusing, uh, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll answer them for you. Uh, but yeah, that's all for this video. And um, we'll see you in the next one.